is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Okay, first off, if you're not a part of the family, go over here, hit the subscribe button, become a part of it. If you guys have any feedback, any comments you want to leave, make sure to leave them down below. Tell me how you like the video, any future content you want to see, if you enjoyed this review. Because today I'm doing a review of Final Fantasy Dissidia NT. It originally was an arcade game that got ported over, and I think they did a very good job of it, guys. Some people, you know, I think kind of kind of expected more than what this game was, because they didn't know it was an arcade. Uh, like, when it first came out, I didn't know it was an arcade. I was just like, what the heck? It's missing some stuff. It didn't, it didn't seem like a fully-fledged game, but then they started releasing updates and stuff for it, and it got better. It definitely did. The campaign was very good. Like, it wasn't like, you know, it's just you got to... You can't be too harsh on it. But you got to remember, it's still an arcade game that got ported over. So it's got a decent campaign. Really good graphics. CGI, of course, because it's Square Enix. And Team Ninja. Team Ninja. I really like Team Ninja. I play a lot a lot of their games. They make, they make really good stuff. But uh, yeah, they did a really good job on the fighting system and stuff. I thought the, the PvP and, and the online play and, and all the other stuff was very balanced. Each one of the characters has its own different kind of moveset that you gotta get used to and, and a different style of class. Some are more tankier, some are longer range, some can teleport around. It's crazy, a lot of fun. One of my favorite things was seeing all of these characters, Zidane and all these other characters, redone. Cause, Cause this is the, one of the first times you actually see them all redone in CGI. Like uh, Sephiroth and Cloud have been done before, but then you have like, you have Titus redone. You have the Onion Knight. You have Papa Limo from Final Fantasy XIV. He's kind of been known though, because fourteen is a little newer. Uh, Zidane, and of course the Warrior of Light. I always, I have always liked the Warrior of Light. He's right there on the front. But then also, guys, it came with. This is the edition I bought. Okay. Came with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful case. Look at that. This is like, I don't know what this is made out of, but it's just a metal case. I really like it. I wish, you know, more companies cared about their games this much. You know what I mean? I don't remember how much I paid for this back in the day when it first came out. I'm trying to get like a good, a good quality picture of it there. And then on the inside, Got this beautiful, beautiful stuff too. They got like this sword and stuff going on in the background. So much care and love goes into it. I really like that. Yeah, there's the other side. Just beautiful. But it also came with this trading card game. And I was new to this. I didn't know what was going on. I thought they were just like a promo or something. But then each one of these, I guess you could get a different version. See that? That's pretty cool. I guess you could get a different version based on luck. So each one of these had different cards in it for the trading card game, which I've never actually looked up and tried. Here's the cloud. I got a cloud one. That's awesome. I'm trying to get all these in a good focus for you guys. They're pretty sweet. This is one of my favorites, the War of Light. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, like I said, I definitely, I definitely really enjoyed this game, guys. I, uh, I definitely recommend that if you have a few bucks, because I, I don't know how much you can get this case for these days, because I haven't looked it up. But you can get the standard edition for not too bad a price, I'm sure. And uh, if you guys want to try something new and you enjoy fighting games and Team Ninja and Final Fantasy in general, yeah, definitely go pick it up and give it a shot, guys. 
I think they did a really good job considering, you know, everything that they uh, kind of had to put toward the game because it was just, a, you know, an arcade game. So they did the best they could. And I was definitely happy with my purchase. Let me know down in the comments what this game, like if you guys played this game before. If you guys played the trading card game, I've never played it. I don't know the rules, none of that. Which I kind of played, I played some different card games growing up like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic. Just, you know, normal stuff growing up as a kid. But, um, you know, card games aren't too bad. I play with my brother a lot when he comes over. We'll play different stuff, you know, stuff we played growing up. What did you guys think of the combat system in it? Did you like it? Because I, I found it wasn't too harsh. Because once you learned all the controls and stuff for each character, like they were kind of universal, but then like for each character, they would do different moves. So like it would be kind of the same motions of the controller, but then all the characters were completely different. So it, I don't know, it kind of helped you in that way. So you didn't have to remember like each different character's uh, combinations, which they actually had a lot. It was actually pretty in depth. I was surprised. I had to look up because I thought I knew all the moves. But then I kept seeing other moves done, and I was like, what the heck? How do I do that? And there's, they did such a good job of bringing all these people back. And there's more than what's on here. There's more than that. Because I don't know why it doesn't have Jekt on here. Jekt, they did Jekt. I remember Jekt, Titus' dad. I don't see him on here. But yeah, they, they redid him. They got all those different summons in here. I don't know why they don't have Jekt on here. Jekt's cool. I think they should have did Arum. Arum from Final Fantasy X. He's pretty. He's pretty cool. I really like him. He doesn't have any armpit hair. <laughs> uh, you guys ever notice that Arum shaves his armpits? Uh, but yeah, they did, I think they did a really good job. I think it's a fantastic game, and I would give it. I'm gonna say an eight out of ten, guys. This is an eight out of ten, and definitely worth a try. If you guys feel like trying it out. Go buy it. I'm sure you can. Uh, I don't know. I think it might only be on PS4. I don't, I don't know if it's on PC yet. So, all you Xbox gamers and stuff, you're kind of out of luck. I think this one's exclusive. Let me know down in the comments if it's on PC yet. But I don't think it is. I think it's still exclusive. Because I've played all the different Final Fantasies over the years. Pretty much every Final Fantasy there is. You name one, I've played it. Besides 11. Which. The servers shut down on that. And I've, I play 14, so it's kind of the same thing, but way better graphics and whatnot. I'm going to do a review of Final Fantasy 15 for sure, because I definitely want to give that game some love. It's got beautiful graphics. Freaking, I played the crap out of it. It's got, I got like probably 300 hours into the play I did on my PS4 Pro when it first came out. I still got the game sitting right over there. I'm going to pull it out and do a review for you guys eventually. When I get time to do it because I still work. I'm still working full time and doing two channels. I just got done doing a video for the other channel. I'm encoding now. And I was going to play. Uh, I've been playing Breath of the Wild. Because I'm pretty excited to play that. Freaking I got it. I got it emulated because it's the only choice. Because I can't afford. I can't afford a Switch right now. So I emulate it. But eventually if I ever do get a Switch. I'll definitely buy it. Because I want to show them support. But. The one thing I do like about the emulator is I can take their beautiful game and I can put a filter through it. I can upscale it to 4K. I can take that already amazing Zelda game. And it's, it's, it's amazing. It's literally one of my favorite games ever made right now. They did such a good job on it. I don't want to be talking to you guys. I want to be over here playing that game. But I have to keep content on the, on, you know, on the channel for you guys. Because I want to make the channel grow as quickly as possible. And, uh... Yeah, I, I would rather be over there playing Zelda right now, which you're about to go do. But that's in Cody right now on my PC for the other channel. So I have to wait until it's done anyway. So I figured I'd just get it, uh, a head start and go ahead and film this video for you guys. Because I'll still have to encode this. I might release it Monday night. I'm not sure yet. I'm just filming it now. Today is Sunday and I have to get up in the morning for work. Uh, but I might, I might release this Monday night so it'll come out... It'll come out Tuesday morning, maybe. We'll see. Because I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm behind you guys by day, or ahead of you guys by day. So, we'll just wait and see, guys. Anyways, 
What did you think, guys think of this game? Did you enjoy it? Do you think it deserves an 8 out of 10? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like on the video if you like the content. If you didn't, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit it so you can become a part of the family. We grow bigger and bigger every, every day. And I'm excited to bring all you guys along for the ride. My dream is that every, every person in the whole entire world will be subscribed to me. I'll have billions of subscribers, you know what I mean? Like, literally, I'll go to like newborns and I'll just have like a little card, be like, hey, subscribe to me. Hey, subscribe to me. To little babies that just came out, like, hey, subscribe to me. Subscribe to me. <laughs> so everybody, everybody in the whole world will subscribe to me. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.